Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that how can be applied data validations in Microsoft Excel. So before applying these data validations, we are first going to understand that what are validations. Whenever you are entering data in any kind of a form that is available online, then uh, first of all, uh, a general thing that is asked is your name. So uh, a general conception is that your name is only consisting of the alphabets and not the numbers. So if you just write any kind of numbers instead of the alphabets for your name, then there is an error message shown like your name is invalid or please enter a valid name like this. So this error message is shown cause your name is not validated according to the rules that are applied to that particular field. And these rules are that your name can only consist of the alphabets and not the numbers or any of the special symbols. Similarly, if there is a phone number, then uh, it can only consist of the digits. It has a predefined length. So these are the rules of um, data that are applied to the phone number whenever it is written. And if the data that is entered by the user violates these rules, then uh, these is um, there is a warning that is shown to the user. So these rules when applied on any data are known as the data validation rules or simply as data validations. So today we are going to see that how can we apply these data validations in Microsoft Excel and what is their importance. Their importance is that um, whenever you are working on Microsoft Excel, uh, you provide your sheet to others to enter the data. So the other user may be ignorant of the fact that you want your sheet to look correctly without any data problems. So what the person does is enters a data mistakenly suppose in the name he enters a number and in the number he enters a name so if the validations are present then it will uh, stop the person from doing that and will only accept the data that is validated so uh, for validating the data you got to provide some of the checks or uh, some of the uh, rules for that particular data. Suppose uh, here uh, I have this column called order date, which is actually the order number. So I'm just going to correct it. It's order number. All right. So this is the order number. And as soon as I just click on the cell, then there is this option shown to me or a message shown to me that attention between 40,000 and 50,000. So this is the data validation that I have already applied on this particular cell that shows that, uh, okay, only this data must be between the numbers 40,000 and 50,000. But what if I just uh, change it to something else? Now I just double click on it and provide it with anything else like, um, I don't know, something like this. So as soon as I try to just manipulate or violate the data validations there is a warning shown to me that please enter data within the range and this is the message shown to me and it asks me that do i want to continue i click on no that i don't want to continue and the cursor remains on this particular cell so that i can just change it now i just change it to something within the valid range like four three one uh, it was five seven so i'm just going to change it to seven eight and as soon as I press enter, then nothing happens. No warning is shown to me because the data present over here is validated. The data present over here is correct. So this is the power of data validation. It prevents you from making any kind of a mistakes. So how can we add these data validations? So we are going to add this data validations in this items column, which can only consist of uh, alphabets and not the numbers. So how can we just apply these data validations? Uh, first of all, you got to go to this data tab of Microsoft Excel and here you will find an option of data validation. From here, you can apply these data validations. As soon as you just click on it, then there is a dialog box that is opens and this dialog box allows you to uh, enter any of the validations that you want. But first of all, you what you got to do is just select this 
uh, range of the cells to which you want to apply this data validation. So I have selected this range of cells, then go to data validation. Now the validation criteria that what do you want to allow? So I want to allow only the text. So since I'm going to uh, use it a uh, text, so what can I choose is the text length, uh, a particular length of the text that I can apply. Now then it asks me that what kind of data you want. The data I want is uh, must be less than or equal to. So I'm providing it with a maximum length and if any text is found out of that particular length then that text is considered invalid. So the maximum length that I'm going to give it as 14. Now you can see that this 14 is present in uh, some of my cell contents. So what I'm going to do is just select this particular cell and uh, whatever the value of this particular cell is could be used over here or if you want you can just simply type the letter 14. Then there is another uh, thing that um, is shown is the input message like in the order number column there was a tension between 40,000 and 50,000 so that is what is uh, the input message that is shown to the user when he tries to enter the data that tells him about the validation it should be clear and it should be telling the user about the validation itself so that's what it is uh, shown so first of all you got to just provide it with the title and the title I'm going to provide is again attention then I'm going to provide it with the input message that max length 14. This uh, message should clearly state that what kind of validation is applied so that the user can understand the validation and use it accordingly. Then what happens if the user does an error? So in that case, error alert is shown and there are three styles you can stop the user you can give a warning to the user or you can inform the user so in the sample I had just chosen warning so this time I'm going to choose to stop here you can just type a title this is going to be stop again and the error message please read the rules so this is the error message that I have given. This is my custom error message that I have given. And uh, then you can just click on OK. So as soon as you do that, if you just click on any of the cells, then this input message is shown that attention max length 14. Now what if I just uh, try to manipulate it to something else? I just provide it with uh, a text that is above the length of 14. So this is what I have typed. And as soon as I press enter, stop please read the rules so this is the stop heading that i had given so it is shown over here then this is the message that i had given please read the rules that has been shown then i can just click on retry and try to uh, change it to anything else like pen so this is within the range and as soon as i click on enter then there is no error shown because this data is already validated as per Microsoft Excel validation rules that I had just given. Now uh, this input message is shown whenever I click on the cell that attention which is the header that I had given and the text that is max length 14. Now what if you don't want uh, this input message or the error message to be shown to the user then you can just omit it very easily. So how can you do that? Uh, first of all, you got to select uh, the range of the cells to which you want to apply the changes. Then again, go to this data validation and uh, you can just select this input message. So uh, when you just select on it, there is an option called show input message when cell is selected and this uh, is checked. So when you just uncheck it, then this input message that you have written will not be shown to the user. And similarly, you can just also omit the error alert as well, like show error alert after invalid data is entered. So you can just omit it as well and then click on OK. So now as you can see that uh, whenever I just click on any of these cells, then no input message is shown. Although the validation is applied, but no input message is shown now. And if you want, you can just uh, show the error message and press OK. So 
the input message would not be shown but the error message would be shown if I just try to change it so yes the error message is shown to me and I'm just going to retry it to pin so that is how you can apply validations on any of the data that is available in Microsoft Excel and uh, that is all in today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video I hope you all have enjoyed it and uh, for more such tutorials keep watching the YouTube channel programming knowledge till then goodbye